Hi, my name is Amy Larson and I teach your child ceramics here at Wellesley High School. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is a couple examples of the work that you can expect your child to bring home. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about my background and I'll take you on a tour of the studio. So some of the things that we are working on, we started out by just making a straight tumbler. So really working on the walls and then all students are having the opportunity to turn them into candles. So hopefully you will have a scented candle that comes home at some point. And then their goal was to repeat the process without as much help from me. So making, again, just a tumbler, it's just something that fits in your hand but doesn't have a handle on it. Next, which is what they're working on now, is making a vessel with a handle. Um, so they really think about the trimming, they think about their glaze color, the surface quality of the glaze, and the composition of the handle and how it matches with their vessel. And then we'll finish up our term working on a set of bowls. So um, I try to get into bowls at the end because the tendency when you're working on a potter's wheel is to throw wide. It's much more difficult to throw vertically. So that's why I end that way. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm from upstate New York. I'm from Rochester and I went to Rochester Institute of Technology and I was a pre-med and a fine art major and then I went on to get my master's um, in art education and I've been, this is my 20th year in Wellesley Public Schools. I started out teaching at the middle school, 6th and 7th grade art and 8th grade photography and now I'm here at the high school and I've been running the ceramics program ever since. Um, it's really great. I love it. I love having the opportunity to inspire and be inspired by all of your, your students. Um, they are such creative individuals and my goal is just to coach them and help them to reach their own creative potential. So let me just take you on a little tour. So this is our studio. We have 14 potter's wheels. I have some really nice, beautiful skylights. So we get a lot of natural light. I often don't turn the lights on at all in the building. And the way I throw right now, with thanks to WEF, um, I have a mirror that is over the top of my wheel. So I project how I'm throwing on the smart board. And then I also um, have this mirror position so that students can see what I am doing, regardless of where they are in the studio space. So this is how we are set up. We have some stadium seating. So we've got some high wheels in the back for our tall students. Um, myself, I'm only 5'3", so definitely not one of the, um, the taller individuals in the class. And then I have a lot of tables for all of our hand building. Back here is, we recycle all of our clay. So once students throw, if they don't utilize the clay, I can put it into this machine and it spits out more clay that we can use again. And then I have a nice big kiln room. So all the kilns are separated from the students. And it's just a really great place to be creative. So I hope they've enjoyed the class so far. I do have some open studio blocks. So if your student wants to spend more time in the room, have them check the schedule. Thanks, nice to meet you.